Hey guys, today we are going to start looking at arithmetic sequences with the recursive formula. So we're going to answer the question, what is an arithmetic sequence and what is the recursive formula for an arithmetic sequence? So let's just start with sequences. Sequences are just a sequence of numbers, just a list of numbers. And let's specifically talk about what an arithmetic sequence is. So here is an example of an arithmetic sequence. The first term number or the first term of the sequence is three, the second term is five, the third term is seven, and the fourth term is nine. So we're gonna graph the points from the table and then see if we notice any patterns in the table and what type of graph is created from the points. So first I'm gonna plot the point one, three. So over one, up three, and then two, five, three, seven, and four, nine. So it looks like my graph makes a linear graph. It makes a line. And then let's go back and look at the numbers in the table. From three to five, I would add two. From five to seven, I would add two. And from seven to nine, I would add two. So it is a linear graph and we are adding by two each time. So an arithmetic sequence is a sequence of numbers in which there is a common difference or D between any of the two terms and it is constant. So the common difference in this sequence up here would be two since we were adding by two each time. So an arithmetic sequence is going to add by the same number each time. So let's look at this first three questions here. We're just gonna determine if it is an arithmetic sequence, and if it is, then we will state what the common difference is. So from one to four, I would add three. From four to seven, I would add three, and from seven to 10, I would add three. So based on these four numbers, yes, this is an arithmetic sequence and the common difference would be three. Okay, let's look at number two. Is it an arithmetic sequence? If so, find the common difference. So from two to four, I would add two, and then from four to seven, I would add three. So right there, since our common difference is not constant, then no, this is not an arithmetic sequence. All right, let's look at three. Is it an arithmetic sequence? If so, find the common difference. So from four to negative eight, I would add negative four. Or you could think of it as subtracting four. From negative eight to negative 12, I would add another negative four. And then from negative 12 to negative 16, again, I would add negative four. So yes, this is an arithmetic sequence because we have that constant common difference of negative four. All right, let's look at number four. It says find the next three terms in the sequence. So the first thing that I want to do is identify the common difference. So to go from six to 10, I would add four. To go from 10 to 14, I would add four. And then to go from 14 to 18, I would add four. So it's pretty clear to me that the common difference is four. So to find the next three terms, I will just keep adding four. So 18 plus four is 22. And then 22 plus four is 26 and 26 plus four is 30. All right, let's look at number five. It says find the next three terms in the sequence. So let's figure out what the common difference is. So to go from 15 to nine, I would subtract six. To go from nine to three, I would subtract six. And then three to negative three, I would subtract six. So it looks like that common difference is negative six. So now I'm just gonna continue that pattern in negative three minus six would be negative nine. Negative nine minus six would be negative 15. And negative 15 minus six would be negative 21. And number six, let's find the common difference. To go from negative seven to negative two, I would add five. Negative two to three, I would add five. And three to eight, I would add five. So common difference is five. So now I just need to continue that. And eight plus five is 13. 
13 plus 5 is 18. 18 plus 5 is 23. Okay, so that is an arithmetic sequence when you have that common difference when you're adding by the same number continuously. Now we're going to look at a recursive formula. There's two ways to write a recursive formula in subscript notation and in function notation. Let's start with subscript notation. So subscript notation is like this when you have a subscript number. So a n is just the term and n is the term number. So like if we were finding the first term of the sequence, there would be a little one right there, which is what it's kind of telling us right here. It says find the first three terms from the sequence above. A1 is the first term, so that's just three. A sub two means the second term, which is 10. And then A sub three is the third term, which means 17. Then function notation, f of n is the term, and then n is going to be the term number. So if it's saying f of 1, that just means find the first term, which in this sequence would be 15. f of 2 means find the second term, which would be 22. And then f of 3 means find the third term, which would be 29. So a recursive formula is going to use one of these notations. It's going to define a first term as well as the process or pattern for finding the nth or any term of the sequence using the previous term. So basically it's going to tell you the first term is this, and then it's going to give you a formula that's going to tell you the common difference. Okay, so subscript notation. They'll define the first term, they'll say a1 equals whatever, and then they'll give you something that looks like this. And all it means is that to find a n, or the nth term, any term in the sequence, you're going to take the previous term, a sub m minus 1, and you're going to add that common difference. So this is the important part right here, because that's going to tell you what the common difference is. So that's just saying to get any term, you take the previous term and you add the common difference to it. Function notation is similar, just looks a little bit different. To find any term, you're going to take the previous term and then you're going to add the common difference to it. So this is the important part that plus D is going to tell you the common difference. So let's go ahead and practice using those formulas. So it, here is a recursive formula in subscript notation and they want us to find the first four terms of the sequence. Well, they already gave us the first term of the sequence, it is nine. And then here is the recursive formula to find any term. We're gonna take the previous term and add six. There is the important information, the common difference is six. So I'm just gonna be adding six now. So nine plus six is 15. 15 plus 6 is 21, and 21 plus 6 is 27. So there are the first four terms of the sequence. Let's look at it in function notation. So it is similar. Here's the formula, and they gave us the first term. The first term is 12. And then all this is telling me is to find any term, I'm going to take the first term, or the previous term, and subtract 10. So this time our common difference is negative 10. So I need to do 12 minus 10 to find the second term, which would be 2. And then 2 minus 10 is negative 8. And negative 8 minus 10 is negative 18. Okay, now we are going to practice writing formulas. The first one says write a recursive formula with subscript notation for the sequence below. So I need two things to write the formula. I need the first term which is given to me at 16. And then I need the common difference. So let's figure out what it is adding by each time here. So to get from 16 to 12, I would subtract 4. 12 to 8, I would subtract 4. And 8 to 4, I would subtract 4. So the common difference is negative 4. So now I just need to write the formula in subscript notation. So I'm going to be using this formula right here. So to find any term, a n, I will take the previous term, a n minus 1, and then I will subtract 4 since the common difference is 4. So it'll look like this. To find any term, we take the previous term and we subtract 4. 
And then I also need to define the first term so they know where to start. And the first term is 16. All right, let's look at number four. So I need to write a recursive formula in function notation for the sequence below. So I am gonna need the common difference and I will also need um, the first term. So let's start by identifying the first term. So the first term is negative 20 and I'm gonna put f of one equals negative 20 this time since we're in function notation. And then I need the common difference, so let's figure out the pattern in this sequence. So from negative 20 to negative 15, I would add five. From negative 15 to negative 10, I would add five. And from negative 10 to negative five, I would add five. So the common difference is five. So now I just need to write it in function notation. So it'll be f of n, the nth term to find that. We take the previous term, f of n minus one, and we add five. So our formula will be f of n equals the previous term, so f of n minus 1 plus 5, and you're going to start with the first term at negative 20.